Take a walk up this Dwajak driveway just next to Dan Carrington's house. You see these two signs hanging on the trees right here. And the signs do all the talking. This one's uh, beware of dog. Carrington says for years they've been running around his property. You hear him howling, howling, howling. And scaring his children. They bark and they howl at night and they're usually really loud. My son will not walk 50 feet from the front door to the chicken pen to throw the chickens some food because he's scared that he's going to get attacked by a wolf between there and there. And I don't blame him, he's nine years old. On Sunday afternoon, Carrington leads us to where the wolf dogs are supposedly caged. Last week there was 20 of them in there. We see just one running inside this pen. That looks like the pup that I saw this morning at my house. Then we see the animal. There he got out. Has escaped. So he escaped from the cage and ran off into the woods. While we were standing right here, you guys just saw it. The animal owner is only in town on weekends. Dortha Pasley is his stepmother, and she agrees to talk with us, though her stepson will not. There were at least 16 dogs in this pen, which is way too many. Pasley says Cass County Animal Control likely came to take the animals away last weekend. Complaints were mounting, and one neighbor says he shot two of the wolf dogs. Pasley says she understands why neighbors are upset. You live next door and you have two children. What's your feeling? You live down the road. You've got a child. What's your feeling? Nice. Just lovely. Carrington says he feels fed up, and with at least one animal on the loose, he says he wants closure. It's ridiculous. It's flat out ridiculous. I, I just, I'm, I'm outraged.